Hi guys, At Home with Cindy here, and today we are doing a kid's craft. So we're going to be making cotton swab skeletons. So for this craft, you're going to need a big piece of construction paper or any kind of heavy duty paper. You're also going to need a smaller white piece, and that's going to be for the skeleton head. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, some cotton swab, and for this particular video, I'm going to be using 26 of them. You're also going to need a writing tool, um, preferably a black pen, and some white school glue. You can also use hot glue, but because this is a kid's craft, I prefer to use the school glue, and it also actually works really great. So um, yeah, I recommend using that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your small piece of paper and you're just going to draw about an inch to an inch and a half oval and you're going to cut this out and this is your skeleton's head. So we're going to take our skeleton's head and we're going to place it on our paper. Next we need to get our q-tips ready or your cotton swabs. So you're going to need 14 whole size um, q-tips. You're also going to need seven q-tips that you're going to cut in half so you're just going to take your q-tip and literally just chop it right in half and you're going to need like i said seven of those so you end up with 14 small smaller pieces and then finally you're going to need five more pieces and you're going to cut those into these really small pieces. So you're going to take your cotton swab and you're going to cut it just a little bit below where the cotton ends and you're going to cut those and you're going to end up with 10 of these smaller pieces. So we're going to go ahead and start designing our skeleton before we glue anything down because once you glue it down then it's stuck obviously. So you want to plan out your design first and I'm just going to quickly show you guys the design I came up with and like I said you can totally change this and make it your own you do not have to do the exact same design as mine this is just the one I came up with earlier so these smaller ones make great little um, rib pieces I just go like this And we need some arms. And like I said, you could totally do your own thing. So you can chop these um, cotton swabs into smaller pieces if you want smaller arms. And then I like to do two cotton swabs for the legs just because it, I like the bone look here that it makes just like that. Yeah. And then we got little feet. Okay, so once you have it all laid out and you're happy with the design of it, you're going to go ahead and start gluing it down. So you're just going to take your glue, and I like to start with the big um, pieces and just kind of work my way from there. And you're just going to glue um, both ends. Um, so you glue the top part of this cotton swab in the bottom, and then lay it down on your paper, just like that. Okay, so you're going to glue all of your pieces on to your paper, and once you've completed that, you'll have a piece that looks like this. So this one, all the skeleton uh, cotton swab pieces are all glued down, so they're not going to go anywhere. And then you're going to want to go ahead and design your skeleton's head. And I like to just do two little oval eyes which you'll then color in 
a upside down heart for a nose. And then you got your skeleton's teeth. Just like that. And then you would obviously glue that on. So one of the things I also recommend that I forgot to mention in the beginning is if you want to do a background for your skeleton, make sure you do that before you um, get your skeleton all together. And also make sure that your background designs are flat so that you can glue down your skeleton nice and flat. So here are some examples that I did earlier. So this one is just a little tombstone and some dirt. You can see it's all glued down. And then this one's probably my favorite. Um, and this is kind of more of a Day of the Dead inspired look. But yeah, so that's a really quick and easy project to do with your kids. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye.